Prescott Hill Climb. As a little boy, I used to dream about this place, blazing up the twisty road in a vintage Bugatti. Now, sorry about that. Now I know there are, there are faster cars, but son of a, what I meant to say is, there's just something about a pre-war car that puts a smile on your face. Richard Hammond knows this. We've all seen him and his daughter driving their 1931 Lagonda, and that's why I'm taking him to the Bugatti Trust. Founded in 1987, the Trust aims to keep the Bugatti legacy alive, and through the years it has become a sanctuary for Bugatti enthusiasts. Right, I'd better let Trust Chairman Hugh Conway and Richard do the talking. If I think, yes, fast Bugatti, yes, this is my level of ignorance, this, this is what I think of this sort This of is thing. what you'd want. Right, what is it? It's a single cam, 2.3 litre engine, right. supercharged. And this would be about 1928. You see, straight away, this again is part of why... And this whole mission for me is to find yeah. out why do I know vintage cars, because I yes. know really very little about them. Yes. But the prettiness of the engines and the engineering, it just shines out. That looks to me immediately, this is made. It, it looks a bit... Well, it's, it's a big piece of jewellery. Exactly, and that's where Bugatti has always been iconic. For instance, the magneto, which comes off here, yep. it advances and retards on a lever, yes. and it operates a wonderful scroll. See that? That's the sort of thing Bugatti did. Oh, that is... Do this again. Have a look. It's, 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 that is elegant. It really is. He started off with a, an unsupercharged engine, yep. and then realised he had to go to a supercharged engine. And that put about an extra 30% on the horsepower. And it's a straight? Straight eight, single overhead camshaft. Capacity? 2.3. Power output? Shall I say 130. Steady. Probably in today's... It, Got it, motorcycles it, in I know, but, the, but perhaps... Uh, but these days, of course, people running it on dope. Yep. Uh, playing around a little bit. I'm assuming... Probably get about 150, 160. That's not a drug reference. The gears are nice, because they're outside. You see? Yes. That's this is before we realise it's better to have the controls for the car. I don't know, in the car? Where, Not where necessarily. You, you get in the way of, you know, your partner. Your buyer of this car is the equivalent of buying, I don't know, a really hot Lotus Elise or a, and a, going, a Porsche and going GT3 racing. RS and taking it to track days and racing it. And that's, uh, what that's right. Uh, but also, he, they were able to win Grand Prix with it. At the top level? Top level. Unmodified. As that. After dominating the field in the 1920s, Bugatti began to fall back. The now date of 35 was no match for the much quicker Alfa Romeos and action was needed. The Type 51 with dual overhead cam boosted output to 200 brake horsepower, enabling it to reach a staggering 130 miles per hour. Yeah, you can get in it if you want. What? Yes, go on, get Seriously? in it. Seriously? Yes! I'm not, I'm, I'm going to take my car off. Cause you I'm can stand, stand, you've got soft shoes on, stand on the cushion. I'm you? not standing on the seat. If anything breaks, I'm just going to run. Because what we haven't yeah, done... Get your, get your other leg in oh, there. This was, this was kind of <laughs> easy, wasn't it? You're in. Wonderful. Oh, that is... Now, this is a special car. This one has race history, pedigree. It has done stuff, hasn't it? It has done stuff. Race by Louis Chiron. So you're sitting this in This is Chiron as in Chiron. Louis Chiron. Chir Louis Chiron sat in that seat. Okay, I'm really scared now. With Richard strapping up the bonnet ever so carefully, it's time to move on to our pièce de résistance. Because outside, where the English rain has stopped falling, Hugh's magnificent Type 43 awaits. And he's promised Richard to take him up the hill. This is the sports car version of the Grand Prix car, of which they made uh, about 150, I think. So this was bought to be used on the road? This was bought to be, be on the road, um, and it's got exactly the same engine as the Grand Prix. Yes. 2.3 litre supercharged car. Straight single straight. overhead cam. It's exactly the same engine. Right. So you would buy this? You would buy this. Because you weren't going to go, it's not a track day car. No, but you, it's, it was said to be the first 100 mile an hour car. Really? Sports road car. So this is the McLaren 570 GT. This car was um, restored by my father in 1955, originally. Yeah. And of course he did things that today you wouldn't do. Right. For instance, he's put what are Morris Minor fuel pumps on. Beautiful, that's slightly less glamorous. <laughs> less glamorous, because he wanted it as a practical car. I drove to Montreux last year on a rally. In this? In this. You didn't trailer it there? No, I drove it all the way. 
I mean, they're, they're either there to be used mm -hmm. and they wear out, or they can be sat in a garage and go rusty. Master switch on, fuel yes. on, fuel on, ignition on, ignition on, supercharger oil on, supercharger oil on. Don't forget that. Oh, it's expensive. Um, I've got the fuel on. I've got to do a couple of these. A bit of a oh yeah, the okay gas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it may or may not start. Go on, fella, go on. Yeah, I willed that into life then. Yeah. Well done, well done. I love that moment of relief. And that's what we forget with a lot of modern cars, so of course it starts. But in an old one, you think, will it, will it, and it did. What a great encounter this has turned out to be. Now, I could easily have made this an half hour video, but you'll just have to wait for the making of to see these two kindred spirits in action again. It'll be worth your while, I can tell you that. And what a natural Hugh is at leading us through the Bugatti history. If it's one thing he's taught us today, it's that pre-war cars need to be powered up hill climbs, rain or shine, or any vintage car for that matter. So don't be surprised if you see Richard pass you in his Lagonda anytime soon. You'll recognize him by the big smile on his face. <laughs>